Dean Goyer said they're not being, they have not been able to link Bongbong to the Duterte administration, but his running mate carries the Duterte surname. That's, what, that's, what if yun yung, yun yung talk nila, na you, you emphasize na kapartner neto yung anak nung presidente. That's, so why, why that's, don't you, why don't they hammer on the continuity, the possibility of more of the same? Kapag that's nanak- my point, Ami. Oh. I think they, they've fallen into the trap uh, because if you look really at the narrative of Sarah Duterte, she, she's building on the legacy of the president. Hmm. No. So why have they not? That's my that's yeah. an actual point. They have failed to understand that uh, even though the president has not officially endorsed uh, Marcos, but the Marcos Duterte tandem is the candidate of yeah, it's just the president. Not- and, they, it's, and it's built on that legacy. No? And we know that one of the weakness uh, of this administration, though they have been relatively high in terms of performance, hmm. is that on the economic issues. Yes. Because of this pandemic. But yes, nobody but, has but reason Dindo, to... Yeah, but, but Dindo, factoring in the economic issues, all of that, and, and COVID, and the pandemic, and, and so on, the other thing that you mentioned, approval rating is still high, and not to mention, even with everything that you're saying, that she's associated to her father, Sara Duterte just overtook Tito Soto for the vice presidency. Yes. What do we, what, what do we take of, of the net value of the Duterte name at this point, given all of that? That's why the net value is still good, positive, no? Mm-hmm. Unless you focus on specific issues. Because on economic issues, Roby, as us hope, if you will follow Pulse Asia, it's below 50% on economic issues. West Philippines issue, it's over 52%. So that's not high, no? But nobody's raised that issue. That's why Ami uh, has pointed out that issue, right? Mm-hmm. Have you heard of any of these candidates uh, yeah. raising those issues? No one. And I find it weird that they're not attacking your own fellow candidates. Yes. Uh, there seems to be so much focus, even competing with with the disaster uh, response with the pero, government. Yes, sir, How pero, can pero, you ever win pero, against pero, the On the has, other hand, Dindo, hasn't there been I, enough I, said? Hasn't there been enough already said about uh, about the Marcoses, uh, about the issues of uh, uh, integrity, yes, trustworthiness, yeah. and corruption? Th- th- these very mm. same issues that uh, that voters say they, they hold very dear and very when, close when, to their hearts. Uh, when did you guys discuss this uh, in mainstream media? The more, the, I mean, I'm just following how I've, I've respected media when you dwell on issues and it becomes a daily uh, raising of these issues. Uh, it does not reach that level, I believe, uh, on the Marcoses. What if Imelda Marcos is brought into the picture? Just to remind you, everyone of what it was like before. Will that's that... why if you notice, Imelda Marcos is not in the picture. Yes. It's a strategy also. Mm. Mm. Ah. And also, nobody is discussing the cases. Yes. That the that government, previous government has won against the Marcos. Well, uh, sir, it's also hard to discuss th- those cases when uh, the person you want to discuss them with uh, does not want to be interviewed. I mean, <laughs> no, it, it's, it, it's not about him being interviewed because he... Maybe it's something also that we also need to ask ourselves. Why does he like to be interviewed? Maybe he's avoiding to address his issues. But can he really avoid being interviewed or being covered when it's election campaign season already? 